We interviewed an Indian migrant worker. He's the eldest of three. He has two sisters, a mom and a dad, just like any other family. They're not exactly upper nor mid class people, more, more of a below average class family. They usually have financial struggles due to rain and cyclone ruining their crops, so they had to sell their land. Afterwards, his dad gave him the money and encouraged him to go to Kuwait so he can support his family and earn enough money for his sister to get married. Jabir went to Kuwait right away and began his life there by working as a driver for a Kuwaiti family. Shortly afterwards, his father passed away and it was traumatic for Jabir. And on top of that, he was fired from his job. Even after he went to work for another Kuwaiti house, he was fired again. Jabir decided to go back to India to get married. And then after two to three months, he came back to Kuwait and started working for a steel company, earning as much as 170 KD per month. couldn't keep up with his job because he used to work from 6 a.m. until 11 p.m. continuously, which forced him to buy his groceries late at night. One day, Jabir was heading back home from the grocery shop when a group of 20-year-old guys stopped him and asked him for a cigarette. And when he replied with a simple no, they started assaulting him, removing his clothes and hitting him repetitively. This incident happened often to Jabir during this job, which made him quit. Later on, he started working as a Hadith. He wakes up at 3.30 a.m. to start his day. He begins by emptying the trash cans washing the cars. By 8 a.m., he is done with the basic duties. Then, he starts watering the grass. Dusting all 14 floor stairs and two lifts. By 11 a.m., he finally takes a break to grab a cup of tea. The rest of the day is divided between monitoring the camera screens, people yelling at him for trying to do his job, and others coming to check apartments. When Jabir spots a non-resident trying to park in a resident spot, he goes up to him politely and asks him to move his car. Usually people take him for granted and park in the spots. But when he asks one more time to move away, the non-resident actually leaves, but spits on Jabir as he leaves.
All that Jabir can do when this usually happens is going back to his room and washing his face. Jabir sometimes sits by himself and thinks about how he regrets coming to Kuwait and dreams about going back to India and buying a new land. He then calls his wife, and when she asks him when they will finally meet again, he replies saying, only two more years are left, my dear wife. Jabir wants to be a human once again. He wants people to respect him and stop abusing him.